In this video, we're going to look at how we can find the area of a trapezoid. A trapezoid is a unique four-sided shape that has one set of parallel sides, or sides going the same direction. The other two sides can go any which way they want. The two parallel sides we'll call A and B, and the other important measurement is the height that's going to connect those two parallel sides. To find the area, we use the formula 1 half times the height times the sum of the bases, A plus B. Again, it's important that these bases must be parallel to each other. And the height is what connects the bases at a right angle or a 90 degree angle. This means we need to get away from thinking of height as up and bases as bottom and top. Instead, the bases are just the parallel sides, and the height is the part that connects them at a right angle. Let's try an example. This first example is a classic trapezoid. The bases are going to be the parallel sides going the same direction, and we can see that's 3 centimeters and 7 centimeters. We'll call those A and B. The height connects those at a right angle, so we'll call the 5 centimeters our height. It's a really bad H. Here we go. Height, much better. We know the formula for the area of a trapezoid is 1 half times the height times the sum of the bases. So we'll plug these into our formula, 1 half times the height, which we said was 5 centimeters, times the sum of the bases. A was 3, and B was 7 centimeters. 3 centimeters plus 7 centimeters. And now we can use order of operations to find the area. Doing parentheses first, we have 1 half times 5 centimeters, adding, combining like terms, 3 plus 7 is 10 centimeters, and then finally multiplying from left to right. Half of 5 is 2.5 centimeters, times 10 centimeters, and 2.5 times 10 is 25 centimeters times centimeters is centimeters squared. The area of this trapezoid is 25 centimeters squared. Let's try another example where we find the area of a trapezoid. This trapezoid is less traditional, but the process is still the same. We know that the area of a trapezoid is 1 half times the height times the sum of the two bases. But we must be careful that the bases are the two parallel sides going the same direction. In this case, the bases are on the left and right side, 9 and 6 going the same direction. And the height is actually the part that connects the two bases at a right angle. The height on this shape is 4 inches. Plugging this into our formula, we have 1 half times the height, or the 4 inches, times A plus B, or 9 plus 9 inches, or 9 plus 6 inches. And this gives us our order of operations we can use to find the area. Parentheses first, so we have 1 half times 4 inches, times 9 plus 6 is 15 inches, combining like terms. Multiplying from left to right, half of 4 is 2 inches, times the 15 inches. And finally, multiplying 2 times 15, we get 30 square inches. Again, being very careful on this example, base does not mean top and bottom. Base means the two parallel sides going the same direction, that's the 9 and the 6. Height does not mean up. Height is the measurement that's connecting the two bases at a right angle. In this case, it's the left and right side at the bottom. I'm sorry, the horizontal one at the bottom is probably a better way to say it. That's 4 inches. Plugging those into our formula, 1 half height times A plus B, the sum of the bases, using order of operations, we can find the area of our trapezoid.